Welcome to this new series where we're going to be sharing advice on moving home. Moving home is always stressful, it's emotional, it's challenging, there's a lot of variables and moving parts and you want to be moving home like a pro, which is exactly why we are bringing you this alongside our friends and moving experts from any van. So we're going to crack into it. Decluttering. I think it's a much overused word, particularly in property programs, I hasten to add, but in reality, what does it actually mean? So if you're anything like my family, uh, we add more and more into our house every single year. It seems to be one-way traffic. Nothing ever goes out of the house. It all just comes in. Yeah, very true. So decluttering is, is simply getting rid of that clutter. When somebody is considering moving and using any van, what is your advice to them it's really difficult because when you live in your environment, it's your things and your treasures and your possessions, things you've spent money on and you've collected, it's quite hard to go through it and, and declutter. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's actually, I've been doing it a lot of the last few weeks, uh, moving in uh, next, next Friday. My okay. wife has been uh, doing this with a passion. I think she's watched too many of those Netflix tidying shows. Yes. Um, and, and what she did was, it was we, she created, especially went through all of our house, each room, and uh, basically categorized everything to, do you want to keep it or do you want to move it? And I think when you start to look at those items, that exercise bike in your, your spare room, which you've used twice, do you really want to spend monthly moving it across to your, to your next house? Um, and I think with a new house, it's a, it's a perfect time, that, that kind of fresh start. To, to hopefully get rid of the stuff that, that you haven't shifted in a few years. So generally, people go through every drawer, every shelf, under everything, over everything, and touch everything, and, and, and go through that mental decision. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, it could be quite daunting. So what we actually did, we focused on the areas which had the most amount of clutter, your loft, your yes. garage, um, but it kind of gets you in the right mind, mind for, uh, mindset. So you, you go in your loft and those boxes which have been unopened. Yes. Uh, do you want to move them again and spend spend yes. that money? Um, and very quickly, yeah. you, you you note the things you, you want to sell or recycle yeah. or, or donate, and and it does get into that that good good rhythm. I, I I'm, I'm sure along with lots lots of um, members of the population had a serious yeah. declutter during lockdown, and I thought we went through everything. We, we went room by room, went through everything, gave a lot away, threw a lot away, dealt with it all. And then my wife wanted to do it again. <laughs> so we did the whole thing again. And still on the second pass, there were still things that were being given away, sold, moved on. Yeah. So we all, as you say, you, you just fill the space that you've got. And, it, and it's amazing. It's, it's the most common mistake people make when they're, when they're moving houses. We do tens of thousands of moves every year. Yeah. Uh, and we've actually had to change our website so that when you come on and you select certain rooms, it... it puts recommended items on there. And that's just simply because people forget what you have in your house. So you go through one, one sweep, but you're yes. still, you've still got more yeah. left in that top cupboard yeah. or where you don't realize it. And that has the biggest impact on cost of your move. On cost of the Yeah, it's amazing. So if you think about your move, really the cost comes from packing, unpacking, the moving onto the van. It even gets to the point where if you fill up a van, you need another van and yes. that all adds up. And, and it's incredible the amount of of space that goes on your clutter, those boxes and, and the, the areas you don't think of. Any van is a smarter way to move home, furniture or vehicles, and it could save you up to 40%. With over 100,000 excellent ratings, you can trust any van. So visit anyvan.com to get a quote today. So when your um, teams are out quoting for a move, they will look at the, the amount of stuff and assess how many boxes it's going to require and then how many vans that will fill. Yeah, so actually the, what we try and do is get the, our customers to do it themselves. So you come on the website, uh, we want to give, it, give the, the customer the opportunity to get an instant price. A lot of the time you've got to wait for a quote, someone okay. to come around your house. Yeah. So uh, a lot of times they do it on the, online. So they'll go by room, uh, that's where we have our suggested items. So you choose your living room, oh, these are the kind of most popular options. Yeah. Um, and if we feel like they've undersold the boxes, which is a, a very normal thing, the, yeah. the website prompts you and says, you have forgotten boxes, uh, or one of our customer service agents will call you and say, you're doing a three bedroom house, you probably need a few more boxes. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, do your, yeah, so a three bedroom house, two bedroom flat, four, four bedroom house, whatever, it, of a certain size, you can predict 
roughly how many boxes that's going to require. Yeah. And you can help customers through that. Exactly. We've been doing this since 2009 now. And so we have a lot of data yeah. about the, the, the moves and, and what people do, uh, what the kind of average move. Uh, and so you can, you can predict when someone's, someone's maybe underestimating. Yeah. And you want to get it right because you want the right type of vehicle to turn up to make yes. sure the move goes as smoothly as possible. Yeah, and they don't want any unexpected costs. Exactly. Exactly. But I can totally see that clutter could be a rather large element of cost, of moving cost, unless you dealt with it properly. Have you got suggestions on, on how people should move their clutter on? What should they do with it? Yeah, so um, the last, yeah, I've done this for a few, a few weeks now. Um, I'm not sure if this is a London only thing, but my, my son made a sign saying free things and we put it outside mm-hmm. our front door and, yeah. and amazingly it went within about two minutes. So I'm not sure if that's okay. a good thing or a bad thing. Um, Facebook Marketplace has been really good. It's quite a local community. So the, um, the, you can sell it quite quickly. Um, eBay and Gumtree uh, are great marketplaces. Again, just a more of a national reach. Charities and donating uh, to charities is fantastic. We actually uh, have a magic band service. So that is uh, transport we provide specifically for charities, good causes where any van will pay for it. And, and one of the kind of biggest user cases for that is actually pianos. So customers will be moving house they probably want to downsize, they don't want to take the yes. piano with them and they want to donate it to a school. So we'll do the move for you yeah. um, uh, to that school or charity. Uh, of course, you can just take it directly to the, the shops um, uh, or finally recycling. Uh, it's amazing the recycling centers nowadays, you can do toys, textiles, appliances, so nothing ends up in the landfill. So in, in essence, what you're saying, Mark, is when people are planning a move, they, they really do need to plan it very early because, I mean, you've just gone through it. It takes weeks, if not months, yeah. to prepare to do it properly and to go through your room, rooms to, to declutter, to move the items on, which will in turn reduce your costs of the move and make it quicker, easier, speedier, much more fun. Exactly, exactly. I think if you look at a normal move, I'd say half of it, half of the cost comes from, from that clutter. So the earlier you do it, yeah. As you said, the, the, you had to do it twice and there were still more yeah. things. Uh, the more you can, you can get through and, and hopefully give so, some stuff to charities yeah. and some good, good causes. It is a really exciting thing when you move home. It should be hugely exciting. But that, and it's a new stage of life and, and all that that brings. But it is a fantastic opportunity to actually go through your stuff and go, do we really need that? Is this going to, to contribute to our new, new life? And we've all got too much stuff. Yeah. And then actually, if you think about everything as a, as a cost, so that those boxes as a, a few a couple yeah. of pounds or whatever it is, it really helps to kind of give you that clear sight of, do you want that, yeah. that exercise bike? Not to focus on that, but it's probably my key one. When would you say people should actually start the decluttering process? I mean, obviously it depends on the size of the house, how much clutter they've got, but as a rule of thumb. I think when, as soon as you decided you want to sell or move is, is the right time to, to start thinking okay. about that. And, and, and decluttering. Um, it takes a long time. It does, um, it really does. Uh, it can be quite daunting, but I think if you take it room by room, uh, it's, it's the best time to, yeah. to start it off. Do it slowly, do it methodically, but don't do it in a rush. And, and I like the way that you said do it when you've decided to sell, not once you've got an offer and you're thinking of removals. Actually, I'd say, um, I, I'd agree with you wholeheartedly, when you decide to sell before you put your house on the market, do your decluttering. Because most of us move home when we run out of space. The very last thing when you're selling a house that you want to demonstrate is that you run out of space. So move your stuff on, go through it, decide what's unnecessary. When I, I'm looking around houses and assessing houses all the time, and I quite often do notice that you see marks on the carpet where people have moved furniture out and they've obviously put it into storage, things like that. It really does help sell a home and enhance the value of the house. And you're decluttering, you've got to do it anyway. Get cracking. Exactly. Somebody very close to me who I work alongside rather a lot um, is, is she shops. To, to, uh, she, that's her happy place. And so they now have a rule in the house, or, her, or the half has a rule. One thing comes in the house, two go out. So when she shops, she has to make sure, okay, we're going to buy that, but what are we going to get rid of? Which I think is a, is a really excellent way of, of decluttering over time. 
Yeah, I think I'd love to teach that to my toddler, but I think he would probably be a bit upset. See, toddlers are probably the worst of all yeah. of collecting clutter because they have a lot of plastic and toys and then they grow out of the toys. Yeah. But actually some of those toys are you know, quite sentimental. You might want to keep them and then five years later, ten years later, you've still kept them. That's what my wife keeps on saying. <laughs> it's a great topic and it's an important topic. Um, so thank you for expanding on it. Thank no, thank you, you very much. much.